Hello there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis coming to you on YBC TV. I'm going to try to show you how to do two meridian tracings. The reason I'm saying try is because the two that I am doing for this video is the bladder meridian and the kidney meridian. I'm going to try to show this on the camera. They're actually, the, the bladder meridian tracing is pretty confusing. Um, this is not the black meridian. This is, um, and if you look at the lines and where the arrows go, it's very, very confusing. But I would like to show you how these tracings work. So I will try to show you bladder first. And if I can, if there's time, I will follow it up with tracing the kidney meridians. And by the way, one person asked me what a meridian is. It's an energy pathway. Meridians are energy pathways in the body. I kind of think of them as almost like capillary sort of. It, it seems to connect the entire system. It connects all of your energy centers, all of your chakras, everything. Um, if it says bladder meridian, tracing your bladder meridian doesn't just fix your bladder. It can fix all sorts of problems. The bladder meridian controls a lot of different parts of the body. So tracing meridians can just help you feel better. So anyway, once again, I'm gonna just start off with the bladder meridian. I don't wanna babble too much because I don't wanna waste your time. But to start off with the bladder meridian, you start off here. Go up, down here, and then you want to come around. Sorry, I'm going to just grab this because I just want to make sure I don't throw this off completely. So you come back down here, trace down to your back. Bring your hands up here where you left off when you were tracing down before. So let me put this book down for a moment. Now I'm hoping you can see me. So you come up here and then you have to go under the glutes and you turn around and we're going to start back up here. So you bring your hands down here. Once again, go around back, trace down. And this time, instead of going down past the glutes, you're going to go down the sides of your legs all the way down to your feet. And you want to go off the next to the last toe, the toe by your pinky toe. In other words, you're tracing all the way down to the last toe and off of it. Both sides of the legs go all the way down off of the next to the last toe. And that is the bladder meridian. The next one, which I said I will try to cover, is the kidney meridian. Um, as I've said before, I don't really care for feet, but I do need to show you a foot to show you where this actually starts. This actually starts here on your foot, right here, which is pretty much the equivalent of here on your hand. You actually have to go underfoot, start here, and then trace up this way. And what you want to do is go up between the legs until you get to the crease. Let me just move this out of the way so that you can see me. You want to go up between the legs until you get to the genital crease, then go out to the sides here. And then, actually, you know what? I was thinking to the sides because I was actually thinking of a totally different trace. You actually, at the crease, you come back together here. You go up to your K27 points. And let me come in a little bit closer so I can explain what the K27 points are for anyone that doesn't know. The K27 points, so you bring it up to the center, go to the K27 points and just give your K27 points a buzz or a very vigorous massage. And when I say K27 points, what I mean is you trace your collarbone from the back to where it almost meets up the two points of your collarbone will meet up almost at your chest, right there, Bring your fingers down a little bit. Just feel around. You should feel two little indented soft spots. Those are your K27 points. You can either tap them or very vigorously massage, aka almost digging. Not to the point of pain, but that's where you want to leave off. And sorry again when I said that about the general crease and going out to the sides. That's a different tracing. That's the lungs, which I will be covering at a later date. I do hope that was helpful for you. As always, thank you so much for your time. Please like, subscribe, etc., comment, and if you know of anyone who could benefit from these exercises, please let them know. And also tell them if they want to talk or contact me, just have them leave a comment and I will get back to them. I'm very friendly and I really do want to help people. So I do hope that was helpful for you. Thank you once again. Take care. Peace and light. Namaste. Cheers.